stop. I mean, that's that's what needs to happen. Is um, you know, as as I learn more and more about bullying behaviour. Um, it speaks more about their own weaknesses than anybody else's weaknesses. And so it, it's a behaviour that has to be stopped. But for our communities, it, it's a behaviour that we have to better understand. Uh, the kinds of actions that are termed bullying and the impact it has um, on Pacifica young people and Pacifica people who belong to the LGBTQ AI positive community um, and I'm willing to do my part to advance that discussion as I said today um, I think these forums are important because traditionally it's one of those um, tapu issues that nobody talks about um, we know that there are people in the community who don't feel the same as we do, who don't behave the same as traditional behavior, whatever that traditional behavior may be. And we've never really, as a community, sat down and had an open outpouring, enabling all of us to feel vulnerable so that we can move forward and be courageous enough to acknowledge that we're different. And it's not about tolerating each other, it's about accepting that that's the reality of our community. And I think we can do it because we come from a place where family is fundamentally important to us. I think we've picked up bad habits through the ages. You know, Christianity was had probably had the biggest influence on our community. Um, and I think my role as Minister for Pacific Peoples is to help that the older generation perhaps or that generation who don't belong to the rainbow community to better understand that they're family, that they're members of our community, they're members of our family and like everybody else deserve the respect to be treated with dignity um, as members of people that we love.